And once I get this all incorporated, I'm going to add the jiffy. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I will be making a jiffy sweet potato cornbread. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna start out with one cup of sweet potato. And the sweet potato, I just roast it in the oven. And you can use canned sweet potato if you want to. I just had some sweet potato that I roasted in the oven. And I thought this would be good for our Sunday, to go along with the Sunday dinner. We're gonna put in one fourth cup of brown sugar, one third cup of sour cream, trying to get it all out. One egg, and we're going to do cinnamon, and this is my one teaspoon of cinnamon. One fourth of butter, and I have one third cup of milk. Now I'm going to mix all this together. And once I get this all incorporated, I'm going to add the jiffy mix. And with the sweet potato, one cup was like one medium and a half sweet potato that I put in here to make that one cup. And this is the Jiffy cornbread mix. Have anyone seen, I've been looking at TikTok videos, and when I see people making cakes or cornbread, they're opening the box and pouring the mix out. And I'm like, who, who pour cake mix in the box and sell it? Or do they just open it and pour it back in the box so it'll be a quicker way when they do their videos? Because I have yet to find a cake box that's just poured in the inside of the box. That's not, is you unsanitary to me? Bugs and stuff can get in there. And I don't want it to be so parade. Mix this up a little bit. Then I have an eight by nine baking pan that I'm going to put this in and I'm gonna spray it with some Baker's Joy. Okay, I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. And, and my Baker's Joy.
No, it just crossed my mind. I know the bees. Sprinkling pecans across. <laughs> you know I love pecans. Okay. So how do we look? And I'm gonna put that in the oven. 400 for you know, 25 to maybe 35 minutes. I'm going to take a toothpick, stick it in the center and see how it comes out. And I'll be back. Hi everyone, I'm back again for the good news. You can never get too much good news. And I'm still waiting on the home to come out. With Luke 17 and 6. I'm going to read it in the New Living Translation. Even if, even if you have even if you had faith as small as a mustard seed, the Lord answered. You could say to this mulberry tree, may God uproot you and throw you into the sea, and it will obey you. Faith, the grain of a mustard seed. I remember my mom when she was alive. We went over to my sister who passed away years ago. Her son used to gather under this tree in the neighborhood. Everybody would be under the tree, either playing dominoes, drinking, gambling, doing stuff they shouldn't be doing under this tree. And it was a neighborhood tree. And she would say, I hope somebody would tear it down or uproot it or get rid of it. And she was going to pray about it. And then later that month, I think she went back to my sister's house and the tree was gone. The city came and removed it, tore it up from the ground, from the root. Now that tree is gone. You have to have faith, the grain of a mustard seed, just like his word said. You have to believe that what he said he's going to do is going to happen. God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think. He don't go, okay, now sit down. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it from, from one to two to three. No, he's going to do it and just let him do it. Don't give him no, uh, this is how I thank you. Let the Lord handle it. And he's going to work it out more better than you can ever do. All you have to do is have that faith, a grain of a mustard seed, and believe in your heart who you serve. El Shaddai. I love him, I love him, I love him. Okay, we're back. The sweet potato cornbread is done. I want to taste her while she's still hot. Can you see? I want to put some butter on the top. Okay. Now I want to do a thumbnail. I'm going to have my sister come out and try it as well. Sweet potato. Hot, hot, hot. 
What a bad noise. See the steam coming off of it? <laughs> I think it still will taste like the sweet potato cake. Cause y'all know Jiffy ain't nothing with a cake in a box. <laughs> it's hot now. Then I got a big piece. I'm gonna take that off. You know, I was wondering how would it taste in a savory cornbread? It's moist, mm -hmm. sweet potato. Not open. It's not overly sweet though. It sure ain't. Because Jiffy can be sweet at times, but this is not. This overly is good. Sweet. Huh? I am so surprised. No mm -hmm. hot. You know who a lot is? My daughter. This is good. Real hot. But give it a try. This is really wrong. for people who love Jiffy cornbread. Jiffy cornbread is a. I made it for my kids and they love it. Yeah. But I don't make it for myself. But if you love Jiffy cornbread and you love sweet potato, try that. And I think it would have been good too if I put those sweet pecans in it. For me, for me. It would have worked. Because mm. it's sweet. Not too sweet, but sweet. Yes. Yeah. So I want to thank you guys for coming by and watching my channel. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Oh, wait, wait, wait.